All right, going to show you even more examples of old sloppy Steven Anderson teaching against his own Trinitarian doctrine. You know, it's just funny how Anderson tries to claim that, oh, well, it's just a few examples. You know, you can you can go through my preaching and, and you'll find examples where I say the wrong thing. As I've shown, well, I mean, this has been, what, three videos so far of just clip after clip after clip I've been showing of Anderson teaching against his own Trinitarian doctrine, contradicting himself like crazy. It's insanity. So here's his first clip. I'm going to show where Anderson says that Jesus Christ and God the Father are the same person. Watch this. Jesus Christ was God in the flesh, and therefore he said the Son of Man's in heaven right now. As he's talking to Nicodemus. Now you say, well, how could Jesus say that? Because Jesus Christ is God. Okay? Now, yes, there's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And yes, the Son and the Father are separate. But these three are one at the same time. Now, we don't fully understand this, but somehow the Bible teaches that there's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. And so, therefore, if the thief dies on the cross and immediately goes to heaven, he's with Jesus Christ, in a sense, because he's with God. And guess what? God and Jesus are the same person, okay? And so, that you know, we, you know, and again, you know, you can sit there and split hairs and play games with wording and, well, are they the same person or are they different entities? Or, you know, you can use all this wording, but look, just believe the Bible. Amen. The three are one. If Jesus says, I'm in heaven right now while I'm talking to Nicodemus, then couldn't he be also in hell for three days and three nights and still be telling the truth when he tells the thief you're going to be with me in paradise when he goes up to be with the Lord in paradise now this next clip I'm going to show Anderson says that he says that God is one person uh, three components basically and by the way too I want to point this out I do believe God is only one person so it's funny how Anderson is actually teaching the correct uh, Godhead that God is one person okay there's four times the word person is used in reference to God. Job chapter 13, verse 7 to 8, Matthew chapter 27, verse 24, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10, and Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. And it's all singular. But Anderson is contradicting himself. And I'll, I'll get to my what I believe on the Godhead later on in this video, but watch as he again contradicts himself. See, God is three in one. And the Muslims will accuse us of believing in polytheism, multiple God. No, we believe in one God. But that one God is made up of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Just like the one person, Stephen Anderson, is made up of body, soul, and spirit. There aren't three Stephen Andersons, but there are three components. The body, the soul, and the spirit. Now, can the body and soul and spirit be separated? Absolutely. Because if I were to die right now, my body would remain, but my soul would go to heaven. So there'd be a separation. Does that mean that there are now two Stephen Andersons? No, there's only one Stephen Anderson. And if you looked at that dead body and said, this is Stephen Anderson, that would be accurate. If you were identifying it for the police and say, hey, this is Stephen Anderson, accurate. And up in heaven, if you were to meet me there, you'd say, Stephen Anderson, and it would be accurate. Well, how can they both be Stephen Anderson? Well, it's not really that complicated. And this is the same thing with God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, these three are one. Yeah, so it's kind of funny how old sloppy Steve can't stop contradicting himself, you know? I mean, he's basically teaching a form of the correct Godhead. Now, obviously, I don't believe in oneness modalism. That is obviously a false doctrine. But Anderson's Catholic Trinitarian doctrine is also false as well. Anderson's uh, rendition of the whole Catholic Trinity thing. Okay, It's, it's just funny how, how sloppy Steve is just, you know, he'll say that, oh, it's just a few examples. No, it's, it's tons of examples of him saying the complete opposite of what he claims you have to believe in or else you're lost. It's insanity. Now, let me just define what I believe on the Godhead, okay? Man has made in the image of God, Genesis chapter, sorry, image and likeness of God, I'll put it that way. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 27, Genesis chapter 5, verse 1, uh, James chapter 3, verse 9, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 7, man has a body, soul, and spirit, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23, uh, God has a body, Jesus Christ, God has a soul, God the Father, and God has a spirit, the Holy Ghost. These three are one, according to 1 John 5, 7. That's simple. That's that's the that's my belief on the Godhead. But it's just funny. I wanted to, oh, I bring these out because Anderson, he's making it up when he's saying, oh, it's just a few examples. Yeah, there may be some older examples, but there's also recent examples too, where his newer videos he's saying the exact same, uh, 
you know, version of the Godhead that he claims is, is, her is heresy. If you say that Jesus Christ is God the Father, he says you're a heretic, but then he's preaching Jesus Christ is the same person as God the Father. Okay? It's insanity. But old sloppy Steve just can't stop contradicting himself. It's funny. So don't be deceived by Stephen Anderson's cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.